Hey, Calvary by the Sea Lutheran Church. It is good to be with you today. This is Pastor Moses Barrios, uh, pronouns he, him, and his, and just excited to be back on the island. Yes, we've returned from New York. We've dropped off our girls, Penelope and Amelie. They, uh, I didn't realize how much work it takes to put two girls into two different dorm rooms and, you know, buy them all the stuff and the decorations. You know, thank God Brenda is my wife because <laughs> I don't know how we would have done this, but uh, it's all good. The girls are settled in Manhattan College and off the running. And we're so excited for them and they are excited as well. And so we're back from New York and just excited to be back here at Calvary by the Sea. So check this out. There are lots of stuff going on, lots of great ministry and relationship and growth. And I, I really want to take just a little bit of your time to remind you of things that are coming, things that are happening, and see how you can plug in perhaps here at our community. So firstly, I'm just going to go down the road here. On Thursday, our adult choir returns to singing and practicing and rehearsing. And so if you want to be part of that, they have a rehearsal this Thursday at 6.30 p.m. You can certainly join. I think there's all kinds of levels. It doesn't you know, have to be a pro singer to be part of that. Um, but that's something you can join. On Friday, there is a Maui Benefit Chamber Music Concert happening with Jasmine uh, Nagano, our, our chamber, and some of our chamber musicians and singers. And so if you want to support Maui, there is going to be opportunities to donate uh, throughout the concert. And so if you want to be part of that, that's happening this Friday at 7 p.m. in our sanctuary. Then Sunday, Sunday begins this wonderful day, this wonderful ministry called Pride Connection. Have you heard of that? Pride Connection? Pride Connection is uh, going to be led by um, both Rhonda and, and uh, Little Dell and her wife, uh, Beth. And we're inviting all of the LGBT community to come support, be part of it. Um, but not only the LGBT community, but also the allies, anybody who has a heart and a passion for inclusivity in our world and in our island. I encourage you to be here Sunday at 9 a.m., September 3rd, this Sunday. Uh, they're going to be meeting over at Hali Aloha. So please come and support that. Uh, there's lots of things that are happening and coming up. We're preparing for our October um, Honolulu Pride Festival booth. So there's all this stuff going on. Please, if you're able, come join that wonderful Pride Connection this Sunday at 9 a.m. Now, whew, you know, that's already some good stuff just over the next three to four days. Um, but I also want to mention uh, a little bit of what's happening next Sunday, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. It's called the Welcome Lunch. And this is for all people who are newer to the community. Perhaps you've been attending for the last few weeks or the last few months and you love what is happening here at Calvary by the Sea. Well, I invite you to come next Sunday, September 10th to our Welcome Lunch. It's happening right after worship and it'll be no more than an hour. And in that hour, uh, we will have something to eat but I will also have a chance to tell you about Calvary by the Sea, about our Lutheran tradition, about our programs and ministry. You'll get to interact with me, with Minister Eric, Minister Grace, uh, our parish administrator, Mieko, um, and just get to know other people who are kind of in the same boat as you and and see if you are, you are ready to be part of our spiritual family. Maybe you already are a part of our spiritual family, but this is just like a formality. And, and so yet it's a beautiful time to see what God is doing in this season. So join us next Sunday at after, after worship for the welcome lunch. If you haven't done so yet, you can sign up, you know, or you could also send us an email at info at calvarybythesea.org and we can put you down. We're just trying to get a kind of a, a head count for how many people will be there. Um, by the way, you know, uh, membership, I know it could be a, a tough word sometimes for some people, but in our context, this is so much more about being in partnership with each other, being in relationship with each other, like a family, right? Um, everybody in a family has a job or a role, and that's kind of how it works in the church as well. We all work together collectively, uh, and we collaboratively could bring all of our gifts together to enhance the love and grace of God in this world. So if you want to be part of that, 
that's why we're including you and inviting you to such a thing. Um, let's see. Then after that, September 15th, Friday night, we have a movie night. And that's happening uh, by the sea, right next to the ocean side. We're going to put up a big old screen. And I heard we're going to be showing Super Mario Brothers. So kids, um, and, you know, bring the kids from the neighborhood. There'll be some free popcorn and drinks and stuff like that. So you definitely want to come and be part of that. Uh, that's happening uh, Friday, I think, at 7 p.m. So, um, uh, so yeah, come be part of that. It'll be a really cool. Bring your lawn chairs. Bring your lawn blank, uh, you know, your blankets. Just, um, you know, whatever else you want. But, you know, it's it's going, going to be an excellent time together on Friday. And then um, on, on Saturday, we have a celebration of life for a longtime member. Her name is Sally Drake. And it's a time to remember her life. So you're invited to that as well as a community, a church. Um, Sally Drake's uh, service will be at September 16th uh, at 4 p.m. So you're invited to that as well. Um, and then last two things I want to throw out there, okay? If you are planning to be part of the retreat this year, happening in the North Shore, up in Camp Mukuli'ia, it's going to be from September 22nd to 24th. 22nd starts like around 4 or 5 p.m. and ends on Sunday morning, 24th, around noontime. So there's going to be worship up there. There's going to be, we're right next to the ocean. So you can swim and there'll be swimming and we'll have the pool available. So you can get into the pool. There'll be activities and uh, time to grow in our faith and grow in relationship with one another. I think it's our sister Shannon who says that it's, it reminds her of heaven. And I think there is something beautiful about that because it is where we just kind of let down our guard and let down kind of our, uh, you know, just our worries and concerns and become a group of people who are simply living and being. So uh, all the food is provided uh, at the camp. So all you got to bring is just, you know, your, your sleeping bag or something to sleep on. And uh, there's plenty of beds and all this stuff. So if you're interested in that, please, please, please connect with Minister Eric or with uh, Mieko and just let them know that you're planning to come. There is a registration form. Um, there are some costs, but there it's pretty reasonably and fairly priced. It, I, you know, we're we're trying to make sure that money is not a reason why you wouldn't go. Does that make sense? We want you to be there. We want. I wish our whole church would be there. You know what I mean? That'd be amazing. But you know, if you can, if you can make time to be with us, be with the family, and enjoy uh, being with others. By the way, family is a term that again is 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 an interesting in these days right it's no longer a mom a dad and two kids right uh, a family is you know a single person a family is you know uh, a single mother with children a family is um you know just a couple you know a retired couple uh, there's so many ways to look at family nowadays by the way i'm i'm going through that right without the girls now it's like wait my family now is hansel and brenda and i right we're three now instead of five so family and, and is, a, is an invitation here to all people, essentially, is what I'm saying. So please, if you're going to be uh, attending, that would be great. Please let us know so we can make arrangements. The date is upon us, right? Um, we're less than three weeks away, about three and a half weeks away from that. So please sign up. Let us know you're coming. And lastly, Ohana Groups. I hope you have joined an Ohana group. I hope you've attended an Ohana group by now. And by the way, shout out to all my Ohana uh, uh, group hosts and facilitators, uh, to all who are doing the hard work, to Joda, who's putting our material together. Um, I wonder how you're doing and how you're feeling, you know, reading through um, Richard Rohr's The Universal Christ. Uh, listen, I get it. You know, uh, reading Richard Rohr uh, it can be um, challenging but it could also be uh, enlightening and it could also be, uh, you know, puzzling. I mean, there's so many words to use here. Um, but the point is that, that that you get to read something and to chat about something. I had my Ohana group and we spend maybe 15, 20 minutes talking about the book. We spend the other hour just like hanging out and listening to each other's stories and and you know, the things that we wanna care for and pray for about. 
for each other. So please, if you haven't joined an Ohana group, you can go online and find your location. And then you'll have somebody contact you and let you know uh, when and where they're meeting. Uh, let's see if, you know, again, an Ohana group is an invitation to community, to be known, to be loved, to be included. Well, this Sunday, I return to preach about the fiction about truth. And this is a very fascinating series. I hope that Minister Grace and Minister Eric have kind of guided you in the last couple of weeks to a, maybe a, an expansive view of what truth may seem like. Um, but you know, the, the, the beauty about truth is that it moves us, that it stirs us, that it somehow nudges us um, to come out of our seat. And, and really the invitation this Sunday is, is as I look at the wisdom, as I look at the Holy Scriptures, we're gonna spend some time wrestling with some things. And I wanna invite you into that space, prepare you for that space, um, a space where there'll be grace, where there'll be a challenge, where we will be moved to re-looking at things, because that, that's what repentance is, right? Repentance is that ability to look again, to rethink things again. Uh, I know we've, you know, certain church branches have taken the word repent and used it in such a way that you say, I want nothing to do with repentance. <laughs> but the repentance that I'm talking about is a repentance that makes you think again about what you thought was already settled and perhaps move you into confession and into response and into action. Listen, friends, we live in times that are difficult, times that are puzzling. When I think of those who are being, listen to the word, murdered because of the color of their skin, murdered because of their sexual orientation and identity you know something's wrong. And my heart breaks for those who are today lamenting and crying and weeping over such things. And when you see people who have lost their lives, you see the countless people who are in, in recovery in Maui, people who are just puzzled and lost. Uh, you know, our heart must break for the injustice in this world, but for also for the disaster in this world. I mean, the church needs to stand up and say, we are here for you. We will stand with you. And I thank many, many who have already done that, but I invite others to get into the game. May we be more than just Christians who keep the pews warm. <laughs> um, maybe we Christians that, that worry more than just about what songs we're gonna sing on Sunday or what style of songs. May we be Christians who are more concerned um, about the world than, I don't know, than, than the budget of the church. You know what I mean? Like, like inorganic things that are in the scope of things meaningless. Meaningless. I think I was reading a psalm this morning that said that, that, that we are, that humanity, humans are like a passing breeze that doesn't come back around. Did you hear me? A passing breeze. That's how fra fragile our humanity is. That's how minute our life can be. So how about we live into it and do something wonderful with it? Do something beautiful and lovely and meaningful while we're here on earth. For no one knows what tomorrow brings. So friends, be blessed today. May you be reminded that God is with you. May you know that you're loved and safe and welcome and that God is well pleased with you. Hope to see you Sunday. Big stuff, big things coming. God bless you and much love. Much love.